I'm very, very excited about Cornell. Uh, he's an excellent player with a lot of skills, and he's done well in sevens against the best in the world. He's proven himself, and, uh, you know, uh, I'm very excited about him. I've, I've, you know, this three or four days of training uh, wasn't a lot of time, but he's shown signs of brilliance, and I truly believe he can be, a, he can be an unbelievable player. Uh, the reason for playing them as well is that, uh, you know, JP has done great for us there, but uh, he's not available for all, the, for all the games in the championship, so I'm going to look at Cornell there. But, uh, you know, I've got a great, great feeling about Cornell. He's been really impressive in Super Rugby against the best as well in sevens. And even in training, he's been awesome. And now in his hands, he's showing that he can, you know, he can play week in and week out in this position, which I truly believe he can. Well, obviously, you know, France played there for two years back. Uh, he's very experienced, and uh, I still believe that's his best position. Uh, obviously, he's, he adds a lot of value with his, with his uh, boot as well and kicking for goal. Uh, JP, I've always thought, is a, is a brilliant uh, outside centre. Uh, he's the same mold as a jock, really big, strong, and he's very experienced. If you look at around the world, guys like Sterling, Murtlock, uh, Donna Manga, a lot of those guys started wing and then moved to outside. And, uh, you know, I didn't knew it beforehand, but JP also prefer a, a 13. And uh, he's played a lot of uh, 13 in, in, uh, in the Japanese championship as well. So defensively, uh, you know, he'll be fine there. And I um, always believe that he can be a great centre. And I wanted to give Cornell a, a chance as well because... I want to see what he can do. Like, like I said, JP is not available for the championship. But I truly believe he can be brilliant on, on, on 13. He's a very, very strong runner. I want to get him more involved in the game. You know, on the wing, he's always done brilliantly whenever he played for the box. But I truly believe uh, on 13 he'll get the ball more in his hands. And uh, I think it can be devastating running there. No, I think firstly you pick the player. Uh, otherwise, it's no use trying to pick a player and then change him into a style that it doesn't adapt. Uh, there's a misconception out there that I want to have boring slow, big players. Um, that's more tongue in the cheek, but a guy like Willi Leroux from day one, I said to him, you know, we want to score tries. Just read the situation. And uh, I thought he's been awesome last year, probably the best fullback in the world for me. So, uh, you know, we've got, a, we've got a game plan, but the guy's got a lot of freedom to play what they see. Uh, we scored the most tries per game last year in the world, so we're going to improve on that, improve on every single area. But uh, this is all world-class players, and, um, you know, you have to give them the opportunity to play to their strengths. So, you know, people, I believe, overrate the game plan. If you look at the game where it goes, only 50% of the game is structured. 50% of the game is unstructured, and that's where the tries come from. And so I always believe you have to have players there that can make something special. It's not a question of coaching. It's a question of having special players that can, you know, that can have that's game breakers and can adapt and score tries. And that's why I like guys like JP there. No, I, think, I think John Young had an awesome season. He was very, very close to selection. Um, really, really close. But, uh, you know, this not being an official test match, um, you know, I don't want to go into a test match and then try things. Uh, I want to try things in this type of game and, uh, you know, I know what I got in John de Jong. I truly believe he played some great rugby and um, he knows where he stands. So, I, I want to look at JP in this, in this uh, I've seen him in the Japanese league and he's really done well. But I want to see him against the, the best in the world and I think this is the best opportunity to, uh, to give, give him a go there. We had a great discussion myself, uh, Furi, you know, and uh, um, you know, just and Ruan as well. And uh, Furi hasn't played for quite some time. Uh, Ruan in a lesser manner as well because he was injured for, for a long time, but he had a good off season. Furi hasn't played for, for quite some time and he's, uh, he's unbelievably fit and, and in great condition, but he's not rugby fit. So we just felt it's, it's easier to go with Ruan. And you know, it doesn't matter about, about the score, uh, he and Ruan will probably go off half. And that's why I'm saying. You know, obviously, we want to play well and, and win games, but we also want to use this game to look at certain things. And the same with Bockies and, uh, and Flip. You know, it'll probably go half off. So even beforehand, made up my mind. I want to give the guys a chance to play in this in, against this world team and uh, take us a step further for the next game. Yeah, I'm not in a chance giving business. There's a lot of games where they can take a chance or many of the box. I'm yet to, to do my country proud. And I don't give chance. I've said to every single player that yeah, the reason you're here in the squad, you deserve it. I always believe that uh, you know a door's not going to open for you. You have to kick down a door. But then uh, if the door opens, your bags have to be packed. Don't tell me now you want to get fit or want to practice your goal kicking. So uh, you know, guys on my team know you know they have to excel to play for for this team. And I don't care who it is. I don't have a strongest team. The guy I believe is, is the best and shows in training that he wants to play. That's the guy who plays. So I don't believe in just giving out caps. Every single guy that played for his country deserves it. 
I don't care if it's a friendly or whatever. He puts on a Springbok jumper, he has to perform. You know, I want to go with a strong side and, and build on that, but I must say that every single guy that's in this group I think is good enough to play test match rugby. A lot of the guys need a little bit of experience, especially a lot of the youngsters. I've been very impressed with a lot of the youngsters and how they grow. But, um, you know, I don't, I don't believe in chances. They have to, they have to deserve to play there. <coughs> yeah, you know, it's, it's ironically that... Uh, the reason he didn't play, people thought, because he, uh, he wasn't good enough. I truly believe the overseas clubs really look well after our players. They, most of them use their rotation policy. A lot of those guys get a lot of rest. And the reason being with Mourne is he's been struggling with his back. You know, the coach had a chat with, with Ian, our team manager, and we're also going to have a chat after this, probably after this meeting. And, uh, you know, he asked us to also look after Mourne, the well-being of the player, rotating, you know, give him a break. And he's been struggling with his back, and that's why they really looked after him, gave him enough breaks. Brought him off the bench when necessary, and, and you know they believed in both players. So it's not a question that they didn't believe he was good enough. It was more a question that they wanted to manage him, which I, you know, I'm truly, truly, very really thankful for. Especially a lot of the overseas club to really look well after our players, and I'm really thankful for that. No, definitely not. I'd love to have three games or three warm-up games, and you know, obviously, they want to start with the this almost the toughest game of the season. Um, but you know, it's still, in, I think it's in great spirit. I've got a lot of respect for the coaches. It just shows, uh, you know, rugby's involved, and uh, it's great. To coach not against, but uh, in a sense that, that I coach against my, you know, my two of my mentors, which I have a lot of respect for, and I've learned a lot from them. So the uh, difficulty of being a national coach is there's not a lot of time. People think you can just throw in newcomers into the side, but just to just to adapt to the new calls and, and the new lineups and the way we play takes time. So, but I'm thankful at least we've got one tough game to get going. But I would I would prefer more games. I would prefer more uh, at least one or two games before we go into into a tough series, and especially the championship as well. And Wales, you know, I've, I've got a lot of respect for Wales. They're a quality side, big backs, well coached. But, uh, you know, we take it game by game and uh, got enough worries about this first game and just to get through the game without injuries. And obviously there will be hiccups. Um, you know, Skolkritz hasn't played with Bakis and Victor for ages uh, and a lot of the other guys as well. And that's why I mostly went with guys that's played before.